exactly like David did, where do we go from here? What's happened over the last six months is a great experience for a new MP. I didn't believe that both central government and local government could come together in as effective a way to actually bring forward proposals, make action happen. You hear so much about governments, you know, bureaucracy and putting barriers up. We had the Environment Agency gone out of their way to make things happen. We've had DCLG encouraging us and supporting the big process. But in particular, we've had two people who I believe have given us the leadership and made the difference. Firstly has been Paul Carter, who, with his team at Kent, really put a huge amount of investment into the task force and into focusing on the challenges that we have. And also uh, David Willits, who was uh, handed this potentially poison chalice, which has turned into a fantastic bowl of mice and um, china <laughs> due to his work. But he really was, you know, given this problem at the very, very beginning. And I have found working with him, and in particular his, his team at this, extremely positive and productive. I think we've seen government at its best. We also now to be, need to be very clear that it has been years that the residents, and particularly the town council in Sandwich, have been looking to try and secure these flood defences. It's a fabulous town. It's a town that is totally unique. We have now got those flood defences in place. It's a lot of work by local people, but also by government. And we've got a lot of work going as well. As they said on Radio Kent today, they were playing Lou Reed. So my view is it's been a perfect day. <laughs>